Hey friends, uh, my name's Eric. I wanna share something with you real quickly because I thought it was pretty cool now that I found out about it. I thought you might find it helpful too. And uh, this came about because I, I wanted to be able to, uh, when running Facebook Live, be able to run multiple microphones. I've got my bass player coming over. Um, I want to put a microphone on the uh, on the piano. I don't have a good USB microphone. I have kind of mediocre USB microphones, but I've got a couple of decent uh, analog microphones. And so I wanted to be able to run them to a mixer. I don't have a digital mixer that can go USB. And so I needed, what do I need? I need a uh, an analog to digital converter that my laptop would recognize. And I chased around on all different things. And And if you're anything like me, I hate having to go out and buy new things if I feel like there's probably already a solution in my toolbox. And so I grabbed my, if you have the uh, H2 from Zoom, or if you have, I'm imagining any of, of Zoom's digital recorders. This happens to be the old H2, which you can use as a, uh, as a USB microphone if you do these things. First, you have to, uh, when you first turn it on, you don't even need batteries, you don't even need your converter. Uh, your power converter, you just turn it, uh, plug it in. So I've got my USB, it's plugged into my laptop. And when you first plug it in, you can tell it, you're not gonna be able to see this, but you can first tell it to go to audio instead of storage. And again, you can't see this because it's, it's kind of terrible um, lighting. But once you've done that, once you've told it you wanna go to uh, audio instead of storage, it's gonna say, please wait. So that's what we're doing, we're please waiting. And then the next thing that's gonna ask is if you want to, uh, if you want frequency, or if you want to connect. So then you go down to connect, and again, you hit enter. And the next thing you know, you've got it working as a microphone. Well, now that it's working as a microphone, you might as well run a cable out of your external mic in. That's what I've done, I've taken, I've run an, a, a, a tip ring sleeve eighth inch cable out of there, ran it all the way to my uh, mixer and uh, and it's coming out of my uh, out of my headphone jack. So I've got a, a um, quarter inch to eighth inch um, headphone jack adapter. Can you see that there on the far right over here? That's running into my zoom. My zoom then is running to my laptop. Once it hits the laptop, you'll be able to find it. Your laptop's gonna recognize it. It'll say H2 on it. So when you go into like Facebook Live um, and you're doing your settings, and you're trying to find the right microphone, just look for the one that says H2. And suddenly, ta-da, you can go ahead and run your old analog mixer, fill it up with microphones, and you can run it one line into your, uh, into your laptop. Uh, one thing I did do, I turned my, uh, my mic gain all the way down to low. I found that helps. Otherwise, I think you're gonna find yourself distorting. Anything else, my settings are pretty low on the mixer. Um, I've got my good overhead mic on the piano. I've got uh, an, a, an SM58 running into one channel. I'm gonna run a couple of mics um, for the drums. That's about it. Okay, all right, there, there's a solution for you. Maybe, if that's what you need. Bye.